Travis kiddos. Uh, happy Earth Day. I have our uh, interactive read aloud for the week. This week it is called The Sheep, the Pig, and the Goose Who Set Up House. The vocabulary words in this story are contented, intend, project, structure, and marvelous. So when we get to those words, I will tell you the definition and see if you can figure them out from the context, um, the other words in the sentences around it. Um, and uh, maybe you already know the definition of the word. So the sheep, the pig, and the goose who set up house. It's a tale from Norway. Why might a sheep and a pig build a home? Who might build a home with them? What kind of home might they build together? Long ago, a sheep lived on a farm. He was always given plenty to eat, so he was quite contented with his life. Contented. If you are contented, you are pleased or happy. I feel contented when, my, when I ride my bike on a sunny day. So he's happy with his life. Then one morning, everything changed. On that morning, the farmer's wife brought his food as usual. She set it down in front of him and said, Enjoy this food while you can, dear sheep, because it won't be around much longer. Ha ha ha! She cackled to herself and added, The next time we meet, you will be on our dinner table. <gasps> the sheep was shocked by what the farmer's wife had said, but since he was quite clever, he came up with a plan. First, he ate all the food that the farmer's wife had brought. Then he butted down the door to the pen and ran away as fast as he could. The sheep ran to the neighboring farm where his friend, the pig, lived. Good morning, dear friend, said the sheep. Good morning to you, replied the pig, who was building a larger pen for himself. But tell me, dear friend, why do you look so disturbed? The sheep whispered in the pig's ear, I have just been informed that the farmers are fattening us up because they intend to eat us for dinner. The farmer's wife told me this. So intend, if you intend to do something, you are planning to do it. So the farmers are um, planning to eat the animals for dinner. Oh my, cried the pig, what shall we do? We will go off and live on our own, said the sheep. We will build a house for ourselves. Yes, exclaimed the pig. It will be our project. I will use my hammer. We will build a fine home together. A project is a special task or assignment that is often done with others. So you might work on a science project or um, a, an art project or a project around the house. Then the pig and the sheep ran off. Soon, the pair met a goose that lived on another nearby farm. Hello, said the goose. Where are you both off to? Hello, said the sheep. We are running away because we learned that the farmers are planning to eat us for dinner. So we are off to build ourselves a house that, and live independently. You guys know independently. That means on your own. So they're going to go live on their own. Oh my goodness, cried the goose. What if my farmer is planning to eat me? Let me go with you, he begged them. I am a fine carpenter and I can make beautiful furniture. After all, every house needs furniture. That is very true, replied the pig and the sheep. You are welcome to join us. So the sheep, the pig, and the goose went off and found a good location for their home. Using timber from the forest, the sheep and pig built a fine structure that was big enough for three. A structure is something that is built. So a house is a structure, a bridge is a structure, a ship is a structure. So they built the fine structure that was big enough for three. And the goose made lovely furniture for their home. Before too long, the happy trio moved into their brand new home. 
They were unaware, however, that a wolf lived in the woods nearby and had been watching them. You can be sure that this wolf was up to no good. He wanted nothing more than to get into their home and eat them all for dinner. So the wolf planned a trick to get in. He knocked on the door of their house and said, I'm just in the middle of baking and have run out of flour. Could you spare a cup? But the three friends knew all about the tricks of wolves. After the trouble they went through to build it, they were not about to be eaten in their own home. As soon as the wolf came inside the house, the sheep gave him such a butt that he almost went through the ceiling. Then the pig began to bite his legs and the goose pecked on him on the back with her strong beak. The wolf ran out of the house and into the woods and was never seen or heard from again. And the three friends lived happily ever after in their marvelous home. If something is marvelous, it is wonderful or excellent. So that is the story of the sheep, the pig, and the goose who set up house. And if you want to come up with your own sentences for our vocabulary words from this story, you can go ahead and try that. The words again were contented, intend, project, structure, and marvelous. Happy learning!